okay you guys this is a little spontaneous trip to a garage sale one of my friends her mom said hey i'm having a garage sale do you want to come look through everything before i have my sale well absolutely Taking elizabeth <laughs> say hi elizabeth <laughs> Taking Elizabeth to church, and so I wanted to run by here before I took her all the way out to church. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, you guys, and cookbooks are an extreme weakness of mine. Do you have a weakness for cookbooks? Do you love them? I like, I love cookbooks. I don't know what it is. I do love to cook and bake for my family. I don't do it as much as I used to, but I do still cook a lot at home. And I just love to look at old cookbooks. They just bring back like, I don't know, some memories or something because my mama used to cook all the time and she would always have someone's cookbook out looking through it and trying new things. It's just fun for me to always look through the cookbook section anytime I'm out thrifting. Do you guys do that also? Okay, and she had several large pieces of furniture for sale. I was not interested, nor did I need any of these furniture pieces. And so I tried to text my daughter and her husband to see if they were interested in flipping any of them, but they were not. And y'all, check out these adorable, adorable little strawberry curtains. And of course, I spot a basket, so I'm going to go check this out. I think that this will work perfectly on my patio for a plant that I have. Not really sure, but she was only charging me a dollar. So I thought, well, let me just look at it real quick. And it had like this one little spot that was messed up. But who cares if it's going on my patio? I think that it will work perfectly for that. So I definitely put that aside to think about that. Oh, and there were two of these little old phones, and I definitely thought about getting both of them um, for each household that my grandkids are in. I have two older daughters that have kids, and y'all, my daughters would have killed me if I would have brought these home because they're in the process of cleaning out, decluttering, and getting rid of a lot of stuff. But y'all, kids just, I think kids enjoy that kind of stuff. Like, they could have played office or something like that. I really think that they would have enjoyed it, but I restrained myself. I did not get them. However, I do think that the grandkids would have really loved that.
And y'all, check out this steamer here to the right. This right here that I have my hands on now. I have one exactly like this that I got at a garage sale like five years ago. I paid $2 for it. And y'all, that is the best steamer that I have ever owned in my life. So if you ever see one of those out thrifting or at a garage sale and they have a good price on it, get it if you love steamed vegetables because it works perfectly. That's a cute little meatloaf pan. I've never seen one like that. Well, it's not funny. That's pan for the chef. That's what I was just like, what is that? And the rest of that looks ancient. It's okay. I like old. Is that like a garlic masher? Or? Um, I use it for like when I was... Is this a spring form pan? Yes. Kelsey was looking. We've been looking for Kelsey one of these. Because she likes to make the... Uh, oh, there's the name right there. I wonder if that's for sale. It's just sitting here. I'll ask her. I'll set it over here and ask her when she's not busy talking. Yeah, I knew you had... Yeah, I thought you did. Yeah, I love... That little um, afghan is really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I've moved from the kitchen to a different room. She's got stuff in every room. This bed frame, y'all, was beautiful. I tried to see if I could find somebody that could use it, but just no one that I knew really needed or could use that right now. She had great prices on these throw pillows. I think they were only $3 a piece. She's got some little table runners here that are just adorable. She just has a lot of unique little pieces that were very, very reasonably priced. Okay, and right here, my little thrift flipping brain was going to town. I was like, okay, I'm sure that's just stripped out. I could fix that. This thing is only a dollar. Could I turn it into a plant stand? What exactly could I do with this? I do end up leaving it just because I have a lot of projects lined up and I really don't need to bring anything else home right now unless I have the time to work on it.
as you can see, she just had a very wide variety of different things all over the house. I got several little things and I'm about to share that with you in a haul here at the end. And then I'll show you how I have a couple of these items styled. So stay tuned for that. We're about to get into the haul part of the video, but I hope you enjoyed the thrifting part. Okay, so yes, I got the block set and the boys are already playing with it. And then we have this, but it's full of all of these blocks. So both of the grandsons are having a big time already playing with this. Okay, so a couple of these things I did not even get for me. I got them for Kelsey. One is this, what is this called? A spring form yeah. pan or something? She spring likes to, pan. okay. She likes to make cheesecake and we've been on the hunt for her one of these at um, the thrift stores, but I haven't been able to find one. And then you know, look at this, how beautiful. Do any of y'all remember the green one that I thrifted at a garage sale? Maybe around last year about this time. It looks just like this, except it's green and it's beautiful. So I got this one for Kelsey because she likes to do deviled eggs. My other daughter does not cook y'all at all. Like she's a put it in the air fryer from the freezer kind of girl, but Kelsey cooks and does a lot of cooking and baking. So I got her that. And then for me, the only things that I got for myself are this cute little candlestick. You can use this to make a riser. I'll probably cut that little tip there off. Anyway, that's a little tip for y'all. You can always cut this it's part off. What? Let me, let me see. Oh, let me see. What is it? A duck. Oh, you like, like duck? these blocks. <laughs> I got this. Y'all, this little thing is a pampered chef tool. Hold on, baby. Let me show them. It's a pampered chef tool, and you use it like if you're trying to make... Oh, well, hello, Jasper. <laughs> this is Kelsey and them's little toy. <laughs> He's a little hyper. But anyway, like if you're making a dessert that needs a little... Like if you need to put a little indention in it so that you can fill it with a topping or something, that's what that is for. So I got that also. I paid for everything. I paid like $9 for everything. Yeah, I paid her. I gave her $9 cash. So $9 for all of it isn't too bad. I got some pretty good stuff. Okay, and I got this runner also for myself. It's a short little runner. I'm gonna try it on my coffee table. I know it's probably kind of hard for y'all to tell on the rug. But I love this. I thought that it would be pretty for spring because look, it's got all these little flowers on it. And I love this color green. So I'm thinking that this will look good on my Daddy, coffee table. What, oh, baby? Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll show you guys if I already have it styled at the very end so you can see what it looks like. And I got the basket. I don't know if I will keep this or give it to one of my girls. I'm going to see. And if I can't use it somewhere, I'll give it to one of my girls. But anyway, that is all that I got while I stopped at this little garage sale today okay y'all that's gonna wrap up today's video thank y'all so much for coming along and helping me kick off the start of garage sale season i'm so excited to see garage sales starting to pop up here and there we hope that y'all have a wonderful week we love y'all and we'll see you really soon with a brand new video